Well, going y'all, it's Dims, and today we have an update video. However, I also will probably make this my channel trailer, so, uh, hi! My name is Dims, and on this channel, I talk about whatever I want. However, most of those stuff happens to be about video games, mostly being fighting games, but other video games as well. Uh, I also talk about game design, I also show off my game development, and on top of all that, I love controllers, whether it be standard pads or fight sticks. So you'll see a lot of that there, here. And if that interests you, please drop a subscribe and, you know, enjoy the ride. But besides that, let's get on to the update video. It's been a good minute since I did one of these, so I'm just going to update you on my state of being and the state of the channel going for forward. And also, I'll try not to ramble on about a few points, but I love to talk, so we'll see how that goes. Feel free to tap out if you want, I probably have some gameplay in the background, but let's get into it. Let's see, uh, how do I order this so I can get the most streamlined things of things to talk about? Uh, let's, let's go with my commissions first. Uh, over on Twitter, and I guess my coffee, I have opened up commissions. On the side, I do do a lot of graphic arts, and one thing I like to do is make graphic arts for fight sticks. As you know on my channel, I talk about a lot of fight sticks, customizing them, reviewing them and such. So if you happen to have a fight stick and if you're excuse me. If you happen to have a fight stick and you're subscribed to this channel, uh, and you need some art for it, I might be able to help you out. The best place to contact me and reach me and look at what I'm up to with my fight sticks is Twitter. I do have an Instagram and I guess kind of a reddit don't really know how to really use that site though but twitter will be the best bet or you know in my e my business email on twitter you can check what my prices currently are and in my twitter name you can check if i'm open or not uh commissions are one way that i've been doing to uh help support myself and you know br give back to the channel and also give back to whoever needs you know fight stick art I love helping people out, but at the same time, uh, we live in a society, and I wish I could help everybody out as quick as possible, but at the same time, I gotta pay bills, so if you don't mind, you know, supporting the channel, or supporting me, if you want a commission out of it, that's great, but if you just want to support me in general, you can just drop over to my coffee and give me a little tip, just a quick little $5 saying, hey, great video, I love your content. All that is very much appreciative, but I guess this is my only way of actually like giving you something back that's not more video and content, which I ho do hope you're enjoying. But going off of that note of commissioning for fight stick arts, let's talk about more fight sticks and controllers. I will still keep up the fight stick and controller content, however in the near future, especially since I am moving and such, uh, there's not a, I'm not going to be doing too much. Like, I'm not going to be doing too much creating fight sticks. I still am, but it's not going to be, like, too frequent. The most videos you'll get from me about fight sticks would be probably if you can play a game with it or not. Or, you know, just different. During my talks about gaming and different games and stuff, it might come up here and there. It's still going to be here. It's just not going to be super prevalent because, honestly, it's an expensive hobby. And, <laughs> again, don't will have that much money so let's see what's on the next thing uh well if we're talking about controllers let's talk about the games that we play the controllers with but let's specifically talk about fighting games and what games i'll be taking seriously this year with fighting games when i say taken seriously i mean what games would you probably see me like maybe post tournament content about on this channel and for this season of fighting games i guess uh, there are three games that you're most likely going to see content on this channel about. Those three games will be Multiverses, DNF Duel, and Naruto Super Clash of Ninja 4. Honestly, these three games uh, definitely caught my eye. Multiverses won because, honestly, the, game, the game's good so far. It has a chance of being bad or having a chance of going down the wrong road. However, for a platform fighter, it's definitely what I'm looking for since I love team-based and co-op games and I was looking for a fighter that was specifically team-based. Well, he here's my best bet. 
and also with all the great stuff and it being free to play definitely going to check it out and make a lot of content for it that is you know as long as it keeps going down a desired path but you know we'll see the next thing for dnf duel the game is just fun i played the beta uh well i played the second beta and it is actually just really really fun it's so fun that i'm okay dropping fifty dollars for it and just going ahead and saying yeah i think i might want to take this game seriously the characters are really look really good everything is flashy and everything's just fun to press and play and then on top of that most of my friend groups that do play fighting games will be picking this up so i you might see some tournaments of me in it and such and such and last but not least naruto super class ninja 4 now this game is basically Naruto Clash of Ninja 4 but kind of fan modded and competitively balanced. They have their own discord if you are wondering about it. Why this game though? Well honestly ever since I was a kid, the Clash of Ninja series has been my favorite Naruto series of games and I was actually pretty good at them. So when I found out about a year ago that they actually do have the game up and running and have competitive circuits or they have competitive like matchmaking and in their discord and even at combo breaker they actually got a spot and was that you know they played it out and everything just looks great this is a you know this is just a fun game that i would love to join the community about and actually just make more content for them and just play myself it's actually a really fun game so if you want to know more about it uh i guess check out their twitter at Naruto Super Class Ninja 4, uh, the, uh, something will be on screen I guess, I, I can't really think about it right now, but those will be the three games I'll, I'll be taking seriously, however those, however that doesn't mean I'm not going to be playing other fighting games, I am still le learning Skull Girls, still playing BB Tag, and uh, still playing Gifted Gear Strive, however uh, for Gifted Gear Strive at the moment, I was you know, I just kind of can't find a character. My f the funnest character I played in that game was Faust in Gears of Strive, and he's god awful. However, we are on the eve of the new patch for Gears of Gear Strive, and looking at the patch notes, everything that I wanted Faust to have and get changed, it seems like it's there and more. Obviously, I'm not really going to dedicate myself to the game as calling it my main game, but I still will be playing other fighting games. I My Steam library is just full of them, and I love fighting games. So let's see, what's next? As well as loving fighting games, I love uh, talking about fighting games. So let's just talk about also games I'll be talking about in general, which again will be any games. Since I will be, you know, I do do reviews on games, on this channel and I'm going to continue that but I'm also going to talk about different aspects of fighting games with putting other fighting games in question and sometimes I just might play a game and I just want to talk about it. You're going to see a lot of that whether it's fighting games or not and just little different concepts of games like let's say accessibility or you know why is this in this game or and these are not in this game or maybe this thing in this game should be in more games or maybe why isn't everyone talking about this certain game just a whole bunch of other stuff also I've been got uh, you know since I am a grown adult and such and actually have some like free time I've been going back and playing some games that I have uh, I've seen as a kid but never played and just revisiting old games to just seeing how they you know stand up today versus when I was a kid and yeah so you're gonna probably see a few videos about a few older games or I guess a few more retro games and just me talking about them and just philosophies design and all that stuff because hey I am a game designer so it is good to do homework good to do research good to experiment and all that such so you're gonna just see a lot of content from reviews to just talking about other games to even like maybe promoting a few games if I just see an indie game that I think is cool and think you should play it I might do a video on it I'm always on uh, well not always but I do find myself on itch.io a few times and if I can play a game and make a video on it and just tell the developers about their game I'm gonna do that now but with that said most times when I do videos on games it would be either praising the game or just 
praising and critiquing the game. If a game is just generally like awful and you should avoid it, I probably won't make a video dedicated to just dunking on the game or such and such. That uh, I I, I kind of don't I, I don't see that's why that's too necessary. Be like, oh, this game's awful, garbage, trash. Unless there's something to learn from it besides like what not to do, you probably won't see me doing that to a game. And if I do that to a game, ah, shoot, I guess I just bought a bad game. But yeah, for the most part, if I am talking about a game, it's either, you know, in the side of praise or critique. Like, there's probably some substance there that I can talk about instead of just bashing, bashing, bashing. Even though, uh, from what I've heard and seen, hey, bashing a game it will get you a lot of views. However, I'm not really doing it for the views. I'm doing it because I want to and it's fun for me. So, yeah, there's that. But also, when I talk about games, I am also talking about them from a development standpoint because, hey ho, I'm a game developer. If you've been on this channel, or what, one thing that brought you to the channel was uh, me showing my devlog series of me developing my game. That is still going to continue. Once again, we live in a society that demands that I, you know, uh, dedicate most of my time to working for money so I can actually live. Obviously, if it'll be it'll be the perfect uh, culmination of storm that I'm able to make money by doing this and then living by just making more content which you know that would be a happy loop for me for right now but that's not the case so I don't have too much time to do this and which is why you probably don't see a lot of regularly updated like dev content videos however I am still working on a game and not only a game I'm actually working on three games uh, the one that you see the devlog series for, that's basically my biggest game that I am working on. Because uh, I am kind, I am new to Unity. I've used other engines like Game Maker and stuff and I learned that. But I am new to Unity so most of the time when you don't see a video, I'm actually learning new things. Not only how the engine works, but how to actually get other things working. And then on top of that, I am collaborating with two of my other friends making two other games. Those two games are smaller than this game that I'm showing my devlog series on. So honestly, it won't be too long before you see tiny glimpses of them. But just know, yes, my, sp my focus is split. It's not a heavy split, but the main thing that takes away my free time is, you know, working a job to pay bills and such. Again, support me if you really do like my content. It'll probably help me get more videos and actually do what I really want to do in life faster but obviously that's up to you so just know I am still working on the game and whenever the updates do come out it will come out for you guys to see my progress and keep going the two other two games uh, you will see them eventually on the channel I'm just not doing devlog series for them because that's just gonna be, that would be a lot to juggle so it's just my biggest and my main well, not even my main focus, but it will be my biggest game that I'll do my dev vlog on. The other two are smaller, and when you do see them, I hope you know you do enjoy them, but we'll, we will see. So, let's see. What's next? What's next? Uh, just a little housekeeping. Uh, Rivals of Aether, my rune, my best runes uh, series. That is still ongoing. I will be able to complete, uh, well I'm planning to complete them all before the end of the year. The only thing is, uh, well shoot, it's multiple things, but two things that you mainly have to know about this series. I put a lot of work just trying out different builds and actually playing the game and also trying to get my top spots. So it's one, taking that time, two, I can't play it alone since most of my stuff has to do with the team aspect of it which honestly I feel like that mode is best for the team aspect so I always have to have other people with me and so it's their schedule my schedule such and such yada yada also it's not like I'm like only doing it's not like I've only done those two characters I basically already went through like the whole roster already of Rune Abyss to see what everyone can do the only problem is I found a few glitches and a few bugs and I'm 
honestly just giving them time to try to like patch it out because I'm reporting them and such. So, you know, obviously I'm not going to wait on them forever because I'm trying to get it done by the end of the year. So, you know, when it when push comes to shove and I just make it, I'm just going to make a little addendum in the video just showing, hey, uh, this is bugged. Be careful how you use it. Because honestly, Abyss Mode is my favorite mode in Rivals of Aether. And I'm actually excited for their new projects. So I definitely want to get that out of the way. And let's see. That's that's about it. And I think that'll do it for all of this channel's update. So once again, for this channel, for this channel, expect to see Biden game content, video game content in general, uh, reviews, and just random pieces and essays about games, game theories, and also just uh, game development, like the inside the mind of game development and also my games as well as you know just whatever I decide to put up but it mostly will be about games fighting games me controllers all that good stuff also if you would like to support me that would be much appreciative in my links you can always find a link to my coffee you give me five dollars be like hey that was a great video keep up your good work but if you want to support me and maybe you know uh, get a commission out of it you can do that too check my Twitter and see when I'm open for commissions and you know once you do that if you want a commission I'll be happy to commission you and just see how things work aside from all that I hope everyone and I hope you have a really wonderful day I've been Dims and I'll catch you next time